Hello and welcome to a new video about pneumatics. We're still talking about valves, how they're constructed and so on. And today we have a special construction. Today we have a special construction with a certain element which can be found quite often. I'm not saying it looks always that way, however, the principle can be found quite often. Now, if we take a look at this here, this is a roller lever. Uh, valve, so there is this lever, there's the roll, and whatever, whenever something is touching the roll, the roll can be pushed down. Uh, ah, it is already pushed down. Also, this is the standard position, and the roll, whoop, if something is touching, is pushed down simply. And you do this pushing, uh, the valve is switched. Uh, let's have a look inside how this looks like. Okay, so I am now cutting this open and see what is inside there. Ooh, there is quite a lot of stuff inside. Yeah, let's see what is happening here because this actually now let's zoom in. This actually is what this valve, what is operated by this lever. Let's push the lever up, let's push this also up. I'm going to explain it to you. So, when this lever comes down, at some point in time, it is going to touch this. And then it will move this down. And you see what is happening if this is moved down. If this is moved down here, here there is a there is a ceiling, and the ceiling is usually pressed against this seat here. Yeah? It's pressed against the seat, and if we move this down further, this seat is opened. Okay, so this is simply opened here, and from here to here to this line, air can pass. Yeah? And if we have here pressure, yeah, we will get pressure here. Okay. If this lever is lifted again, if this lever is lifted again, this will go up. Whoop, yeah. This will go further up. And this is now sealed again. Then we have no pressure here. And here, going up here, the valve can be exhausted. So this, this line here is either under pressure, if it's operated, or not under pressure if it's not operated. However, it's a rather small, it's a rather small valve here, yeah, with tiny, tiny springs and, and, and stuff and so on. Yeah, here this is now sealed and opened and back. Yeah, so this actually is a 3 2 way valve. Yeah? One connector, two connector, three connector. This is a, a small 3 2 way valve which is operated by this lever here. Okay? What does it do? Yeah? Let's zoom to the bigger picture. Yeah? Because actually the valve is much bigger than we've just seen. Yeah? Here we can see, here we can see it is it is marked as one line. So here one, here is pressure, we will get pressure up to here. And here is also pressure. If this looks like how it looks now, yeah, the pressure is coming in here. This is some, some part. It can even go inside here. Yeah. But here, here is sealed. This is sealed. It cannot go anywhere. Here is also sealed. It cannot go anywhere simply. Yeah. So one is sealed in this situation. And here the two connector. Let's see. The two connector is connected to here. So it can pass here. How does this here look? Aha! Uh -huh. We can also pass here and the two connectors connected to the three line. So this is the two connectors exhausted. So if this is now operated and we can pass here, we have pressure here. Here is a membrane. Uh, this is usually, uh, this is, this is, the membrane is cut, but the piston here is not cut uh, to, to show you. Then here in this area I have pressure. This area in pressure means it will push this down here. Okay? The membrane is 
pushing this rod down. Okay? Because it's elastic material, it's simply pushing it down. What is happening here? If this is pushed down even further, yeah, it will, puck, at some point in time, puck, it will be sealed here. Yeah? So now, two and three are no longer connected. Those two lines are no longer connected because we touch this here. Yeah? Touch this here. However, it will move further. Yeah? It will move further because here the pressure is still there. Yeah? And the area here is bigger than the area down here where there where also might be pressure. So whoop, this will move simply further down yeah? until this piston here reaches reaches here mechanical stop. Yeah? Then the, the, the membrane is pushed through. Yeah? What has happened here? Yeah? This piston pulled, pushed down this part also and now suddenly one is here connected to here with can pass here, can pass here and now one is connected to two. Now this is open. Okay? This is open. And if now the lever is moved away again, yeah, this means actually that here this will going to move up yeah, because of the springs. Yeah. Then we have this situation. This is blocked up to now. Yeah. So here we are sealed. There is no new pressure coming. Then this spring here will move this further. Here we are opening now. Yeah. It means this will be now without pressure. Yeah. If we are here without pressure, here in this area we are now without pressure, here, here we've got pressure, yeah? we've got pressure and we also have the springs. So this is, has now the correct force to move, get moved up, yeah? but now one and two are sealed to each other, three is still sealed, but however there is also this spring here, but this will further move up and here we are, we are open two is now again connected to three, we are at the previous previous version. Yeah. So this little valve here, this little valve is operating a bigger valve. Yeah. It's called pre-controlling. Pre-control or pilot control. Yeah. Why do we do that? Because this little valve here, it has small operating forces simply. If we would have to use to operate this big valve here, we would really need a lot of force yeah? to operate this little valve here. No issue. Yeah? Small forces. So I operate with a small force this little valve, and this little valve is helping me to whoop operate the big valve because it simply takes pressure from here. Yeah? Takes pressure from here. Now what is this? What is this? It looks exactly like this and really it is exactly like that because if we simply turn this head around, uh, this one, around 180 degree, then this must be 1 and this must be 3, then 1 is connected with 2 usually and after switching 2 is connected with 3. So this is then, now we have lock rest position and then it's flow rest position. Okay? If it, it's just by turning, turning the head of the valve, the lever part, and the and the valve body to each other. So this is how this looks like. Pretty nice, isn't it? Pre-control valve. How does it look like? How does it look like in, in as a symbol? Uh, we'll also show you. So actually we only draw the big valve. Okay? And this, is a, this example was a 3-2 way valve in locked rest position. So actually it looks like this. 
two positions, spring loaded, here we are locked rest position, this is three, this is one, this is two, yeah? and if we operate, we have flow position. Yeah? And now we are operating by a roller lever, however this roller lever is not directly operating this valve, it's a pre-control valve, and pre-control we usually draw it like this. And then there is the roller lever. So the roller lever is operating a pre-control valve and the pre-control valve is now operating the valve. This is the symbol, the coding symbol to this exactly this valve. Okay. If it is operated, it looks like this. And to indicate that it is operated, we draw again this, this part here. Okay? So this is the symbol of this valve. Sometimes, sometimes, not in this valve now, we have here a connector, uh, which is usually called 1-2. Uh, or Well, this one would be called 90. Uh, that's... that's Without this, we have seen air or the pressure is coming from one connector. Yeah? With a high number here, yeah? air is coming. Air is coming at a separate connector at the at the valve. Yeah? It's not directly connected to one. There is a separate pre-control pressure connector. Okay. Pre-controlled valve must not only be with with this roller levels can be something else. Yeah? Quite often used pre-control valves simply because of the operating forces. Yeah. So this is a very, very usual concept. Next time we're going to talk about yet another uh, valve. Next time we're going to talk about uh, a 4-2 way valve. Okay? Let's see how this looks inside. Four two way valves. Yeah. Still poppet valves. Everything up to now are poppet valves. Okay. So for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.